Hi guys, once again, this is Don Phillips and thank you for joining me. You know, for 15 years, me and my family have lived in the village of Evington here in Leicestershire. A very, very nice village and some beautiful surroundings. In two weeks time, hopefully two weeks time, we should be moving into our new home. Before we do, I have a suspicion this arboretum has a few secrets to give up. It's never been deemed haunted in any way and it is an absolutely fantastic place for people to come bring their dogs and, and their family. Um, tonight I'm going to come down on my own and do a little visual down here to see what we can actually get. Come with me now, we'll have a little walk around the Arboretum, explain a little bit of the uh, brief history about it. Um, we can go up to the church afterwards, St Denny's Church at the top of the hill, dates back to Norman times. and. Um, yeah, I think tonight may prove interesting. Whenever I've frequented this place with my daughter, Rachel or Emma, and taking the dog for a walk, I've well, very, very often had spirit energy, spirits, people approaching me during the daytime in certain specific parts. I've been picking upon the energy, so those are the parts I'm going to concentrate on tonight. And tonight, hopefully, Becky will be with me, if I can hear her. Again, it depends on the, the atmospherics, but... Like I said, it could be interesting, so come with me now, we'll actually walk around, and uh, I shall see you later here, tonight. So here at the Arboretum in Leicester, it's a kind of place that means so many different things to different kinds of people. Whether it be it taking your dog for a walk, or bringing the family for a picnic, visiting the memorial garden, or appreciating the many different varieties of plants and shrubs. The northwest part of the site was known as Piggy's Hollow, a medieval moated manor house with associated fish pond once stood on this land. In 1942 to 1945, this area was used for military purposes. In 1945 to 1947, it was a prisoner of war camp. In 1960s, it was used by the Gartry Riding School and in 1970s, Leicester City Council turned it into an arboretum. The Arboretum here in Leicester is renowned for many, many things. One thing it's not renowned for is being haunted. I've always maintained that any place is haunted, regardless of where it is. Wherever there's been people, there will be spirits. Tonight, join me as we put this to the test. And this is Evington Village by night. Edmonton Village goes way back Saxon times. There's a St Denis Church over there which we may take a little stroll past later. Before Edmonton it was actually known as Abington and during Saxon time it was known as Aphia's Turn. Tonight we are investigating a couple of places. Um, just down here on the left hand side a few yards there's an area called the Green which is actually a children's play area. The interesting thing is, it backs on more or less to the cemetery of the church. As I've said already, the whole world is haunted. It's not specific to one building or one area. Wherever there's been people, there will be spirits, um, children that are now in spirit will still like to play. Therefore, they will still visit play areas. Just over through the hedge there is the actual cemetery to the church, which I find quite interesting. And before anybody starts saying, oh, how unethical, Don's now going to scare all the kids saying all that their playground is haunted, save it. Doesn't matter where you go, these guys are everywhere. Okay, here we are guys, back at the old 
item. This uh, car park has been known to be used for certain things, certain activities. I'm very pleased to tell you and inform you that I'm the only vehicle here this evening, which is good. Um, make no mistake, it's absolutely freezing cold. But it's also very, very quiet. The wind's not too bad, so let's go and do what we're here to do. Do you know, it's one of them times when you're in the middle of nowhere on your own, where you might think that just maybe one spirit person could put in appearance. I've always said that, well, as you know, spirits and ghosts are two totally different things. A spirit being intelligent and a ghost supposedly being a replay from the past. And I always said I'm open minded about ghosts because I've never actually seen one, although I've seen, shall we say, certain spiritual things. That said, Last time I was at Grace Duke Priory, through one of the archways. Hang on, hang on a second. As I was saying, through one of the through one of the archways to the ruins, I did actually see, and it wasn't wishy-washy. It was very clear. It was just getting light, uh, daybreak. Birds started tweeting, we was packing up to leave. And uh, I glanced, literally just to the side of me, to the archway, to see, you know the old uh, cloaks? Imagine a cloak flapping behind somebody, walking kind of thing. And I actually saw this cloak, and it was, as far as I was concerned, a physical cloak. And it wasn't a part of a cloak, it was quite a lot of the cloak. I just see it past the window, the back end, of it, the tail end of it, as the guy brought past to the point that I was actually expecting him to I thought weird sort of got a cloak on but I actually thought it was a person and this was to say Grace to Priory I thought it was going to walk round in front of us nobody did after about 10 seconds I was curious and had a look there's absolutely nobody there that um, is the only experience I would ever say would be likened to possibly seeing a ghost. I say possibly because I don't know. I have no explanation for it. I can only tell you what it looked like. And I was 100% certain of what I saw. Could it be my mind playing tricks on me because we was tired to death? Possibly. One of those wondrous times when your camera's not trained or where you need it to be trained. Okay, I just switched the camera off. And this is like 26, 20 seconds later, after talking a minute ago, I just put it back on. Because, you know, I said that I get certain places and I get whoosh, a lot of energy, like somebody with me. That has just this second happened. I've just noticed, I didn't actually, couldn't see, to be honest. Do you know, I just said that somebody was with me and then we've got that, what sounds like a voice, but it's not that clear. I wasn't aware until I was just going on walking. I'm actually standing in the middle of the memorial part. Um, I'll just get to spin the camera around so you can have a look. There's one. Make sure we Put this torch on a second. Hold on. There we go. I had absolutely no idea because I wasn't sure where I was walking. But yeah. Surrounded by memorial plaques. I don't know if that's significant, but uh, it's certainly where we were when the uh, just got approached. Looking promising, guys. Uh, let's crack on. I'm sure there's some not so good stuff around here as well. There normally is in these places. Well, most places, to be honest. That moon looks amazing. How beautiful is that? bench over here we can uh, sit in. 
one thing I do know, I've got somebody following me now, not in a physical person, obviously. But you know these places? <laughs> that was a confirmation, it's got a massive rush. You know, you got to sometimes think whose footsteps are actually walking in. You know, Edwardians, Victorians, atrocities that have, people may have suffered on this land. We'll go to the prisoner war camp part later, but let's get set down and have a chat. Typically, I must have found the only table on this whole of Rotem that hasn't got a seat. Also bought the smog, you'll see in the middle of this big open space there's nothing electrical, there's no broadband, there's no telegraph lines, there's no nothing and there's obviously nothing underneath me either, obviously be flashing now so if that changes that might be quite significant. Guys I've got a meter here, is there any way you can manipulate this and make it flash at the moment it's on one green. In the next few minutes I would appreciate it. Amicus and Evil Narumi. Interesting, so we'll try that again. Shoot that light up. Amicus and Evil Narumi. I think we'll put that camera on this for a second. If you can understand, thank you. Believing me, that sounds like might be wrong, but what we'll do when we get back, that is number seven, folded D. We will actually play, play through a better speaker. Very interesting exercise the response on the smog meter. So it's been green all the way along, and as soon as I asked them to speak to me, communicate with me. In Latin, it lit up quite significantly, twice. I might actually nip up to the, you know, the St. Dennis Church. They've done a lot of uh, renovation work up there and they've moved some of the, some of the stones and I as well suspect they've also unearthed one or two graves. So that'd be interesting to see what the guys think about that. Okay, I've now made my way through the old breeze and more to the top end. Behind me is St Denis Church. Quite interesting as I was walking up, there's a little path to the left hand side that I went down to be met by a lot of uh, 
gravestones. You will see that the, uh, over time they've actually extended the cemetery actually into the old region itself. That I actually was not aware of until literally five minutes ago. Let me show you these, how close to this actual footpath some of these uh, resting places are. And also you'll see the, the extensive work that's been going on recently. Okay, just behind me now is the footpath. Let me show you how close that is now to the actual cemetery of St. Denis Church. That was about 13 steps. Now look at this. Let's uh, move further into the Arboretum Park. Came walking a piece, watch this nice little path. And thought that's a nice little path. So let's have a little walk down there. When I got to about here, I started feeling some very strong energy, which was more than just one or two guys. Or the overgrowth. I suddenly found myself presented with all of these. This was like probably a extension of the original cemetery, which is over there in the church. Just literally walks come straight off of the old Breton, which I find really quite interesting. Anyway, uh, in answer to my question, is the Evington Old Breedson haunted? I'd say so, wouldn't you? And for very good reason, it would appear. Me non son me con me Sebastian. Correct. So I would really, really appreciate. Whew, that's strong. Okay, I've got lots of these guys around me now. Obviously, I will be because it is a little bit of a curiosity. Early hours of the morning, a guy turns up with the video cameras and he starts talking to you like you're his next door neighbour. Not something these guys are probably used to. Um, <clears throat> is anybody here capable of actually showing anything on film here? Could anybody actually? Show the cells. Being as we're here, I think we should maybe get back through the old bridge and get on the main road and actually pop up to the front of this church. And uh, I'm going to go inside. Well, I'm inside, aren't I? Effectively. But um, okay, we'll see what happens. But yeah, you know what, guys? I think you'll you'll agree. It's, what was that? This is not going to be on camera. I've just seen something very small walk between the headstones. I say walk, move. It was white, it wasn't bright white. It was whiter than anything else that I'm looking at at the moment. It looked about this big and literally went. I saw that absolutely clearly. Now, people watching this are gonna say, some people, bullshit. The one thing that anyone that follows me in the team does know is, one thing that I will never do and don't need to do is bullshit. That was an absolute privilege. What I was just thinking is well, interestingly, I did ask to say a few months before, is there any, could any of you guys, could I see something? And indeed, I 
hand on heart did see something for which I could see there'd been absolutely no explanation than what it looked like to me. It did actually look like a child. Well, it didn't look like a child. It was, I didn't see any features. It was uh, probably about the size of what I would say is a six year old. And literally it was much brighter than anything else actually here. And I've just seen it, it just went just between what, two or three headstones. That was uh, that was a personal experience for me and one I feel very privileged to have, have witnessed. People say, Don, don't you get scared, don't you get nervous? I had an experience when I was seven years old, which has basically put me on the path, route or whatever to what I am, who I am and what I do today. Let's see if <laughs> Do you know what I get the distinct impression of lots and lots of people, spirit people just all over the place just looking at me, probably going, what's he doing? Right, um, I saw over there a distinct small figure move between the, the headstones. I am now going to go and leave you guys and thank you for your time. Before I do, however, there is just one question that I would like you to answer, and answer clearly. What did I see moving among the headstones over there a few moments ago? Let's move on. Thank you guys. Just as in life, there is good people and bad people. Laying among these many of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of resting places, there will be child molesters, there will be killers, murderers, rapists among the nice people as well. Uh, that sounds very harsh, but that is the, the reality of things. Thank you. I was then approached by negative entities. After this negative entity had decided to leave me. The spirits asked, can you hear this? Of course, skeptics would claim you're simply hearing what you want to. I was just approached by a negative energy. It was most apparent, but it's, it's now gone. Then listen to the actual sound bite, which has not been manipulated in any way. Okay, let's go back onto the RV to itself now and leave these guys in peace. Okay, I just said. 
the guys, if anyone wants to join me, I'm going back on the old breedsome now. Do you know what, I, the, one of the reasons I'm actually leaving these guys now is, I didn't say anything at the time because my recorder wasn't on. But somebody said into my ear, get out. Like anywhere else, sometimes you're welcomed by some and not by others, so we will respect that. I'm just going back onto the Arboretum now. And we'll spend a few minutes to see if anybody from back there wants to engage. Then we'll head up to the church. Temperature's really dropping now. I'm sure the great, it's been a very, very interesting evening. We'll start, we'll head up to the church in a minute. I'm now back on the Arboretum itself, just walked a little way from where we just were. I'd actually invite anyone to come to come speak with us. I can feel the energy around me at the moment, so let's see. Uh... There's a few of you here now. Can somebody give me that? There's a lady as well. What's your name, sweetheart? That wasn't clear enough. Can you come closer and try? There's a lady here. What's your name, please? I heard that behind me. Just walking down this road, the car pulls up. Two very, very, very nice gentlemen from the Leicestershire Constabulary inquiring as to what I was doing at this unearthly hour in this unearthly temperature. We had a chat. Unfortunately, they declined to be on my video, which I think would have been quite nice. Um, they said, where are you going now? I said, I'm just off to the church, but I'm standing outside because I haven't got permission. Sorry, the camera went out of focus. I haven't got permission to go in. They said, no, Don, it's all right. You can go in there. You don't need permission. And here we are at St. Denny's Church. Let's, let's pop in and have a quick look. Maybe call it causing Elizabeth some problems. Yeah. So I'd like to speak now.
what I can do. Whether it's physical people or spirit people, one thing that really pisses me off is people being bullied or tormented. This at the minute would appear no exception. Okay, you listen to me. Elizabeth, very shortly, is going to be protected from you. If you've got a problem, I suggest you take it out with me now. Guys, Elizabeth, would you like to come back with me to my place where you'll be looked after, respected and safe? Wait for this car to go by. Here, Becky can be clearly heard warning me to be careful. It was very soon apparent she was referring to physical beings as I also heard the footsteps. Footsteps. Who's there? I was at this point expecting trouble, as one would be in the early hours in a cemetery with video equipment. This was also confirmed by Becky when she said, I'm behind them. I'll be back in a minute. somebody was hiding somewhere. Their plans, their intentions are not clear. There's also a realistic chance that to encounter somebody in a cemetery, stroke, churchyard, in the early hours talking to spirits might just change somebody's mind and they might decide to go home.
again, I'm hoping the camera just picked up what I heard, but I just heard a male whisper right to the side of me. Okay, so we've had definite footsteps with nobody here. What I'll probably do is, if need be, is increase the sound on that on the camera on playback. There's certainly nobody around here. There's no damage to anything. The spirits obviously approached me to speak, to speak to me when I was at the bench. I'm just making my way back there now to pick up where we left off because we need to find out. You know what? There is, just as in life, in death, there are unpleasant personalities people that cause others problems. Just because you're a spirit person doesn't mean you're also you're no fear of anything. Right, you know what, let's spend another five minutes here and uh, finish off I'll deal with whatever we need to deal with when I get back we'll have a word with Becky we'll check these recordings and we'll go from there let's just just pop back to that bench well this will do it's near enough just on the way out actually this is all clear and at the back here are all the very very old graves they're so old, a lot of them are faded. Let's just see what dates we've got on these. Because it's just go back a long way. So if we can uh, just find one. They're all faded. Um, what year is this? 1797, that one. Let's leave these guys in peace. We've had some interesting stuff there from Elizabeth and the footsteps around there. Also, I heard a voice to my left hand side. I don't want to give people the impression, the wrong impression. Um, I need people to understand that I'm not here doing a paranormal investigation in the churchyard anyway. I don't need to investigate a parent to see if it's paranormal or it's haunted because I know it is. I'm here to speak to anybody that wants to speak with me and help anybody that I can help, me or the guys. As I've already said, what is for me is very different for the people. It's not good to be going around this time of night, even for me, with video equipment, especially with the light, drawing attention to yourself. And cemeteries are not places of fun. Um, the last one I went to, I went to see if I could find Becky's resting place. And I was approached by a child. Again, I was there for a legitimate reason. She approached me, I spoke to her. And then I started getting into some old, unfortunately. I put that on Facebook. I thought it was my page, but it obviously went publicly by accident. And some people thought they'd give me some stick for it. Well, it's the same view. But 
I can't drink to get through to people, but this is not a fucking game. Seriously, you know. And these are real people. We have a real relationship. And it's them, they, who approach me. At the end result, by the way, of the glass we see the cemetery, we didn't find Becky's resting place. But Becky said, the child. Okay. They took care of her. Do you know what? I get that people don't... Some people don't understand me. Some people don't understand what I do. Or why I do it. Nevertheless, this is who I am, this is what I do. Do you know what? I think it's just time we should crack on. What I'm going to say is, I got caught in the moment there, didn't I? What I'm going to say is, if there's anybody here, and this could be a few, being caused problems or tormented by anybody else, who need help, you're quite welcome to come with me. Where you'll be safe. Okay, people, I'm going to leave you in peace. I will just say to people out there who do cemeteries, go around cemeteries, um, they're not playgrounds. They are to be respected. These guys are to be respected. This is their place. And as for people that go around with Ouija boards and things in cemeteries, well, personally, I think these is kicking. Apart from being very, very stupid. There's a lot of bad stuff as well in cemeteries as well as nice people. Unfortunately, people only tend to believe that when they cop something rather unpleasant and then I generally get a phone call. That doesn't happen a lot. When people ring me because of these cemeteries, which reports. But it has happened in the past, trust me. Right, I think we should now crack on. Um, I want to go down the old Breton bit again. This is actually on the old Breton itself, but this is at the top of the hill. So I did say. Let's pop down there. Did you know earlier, when I was down there, when the light started flashing, as I was playing back the recorder, even above that, I didn't mention it at the time, so I wasn't sure, but we need to check this because I'm sure I heard a lady say, it's Sarah. Well, I'm quite looking forward to checking some of these recordings because I think they're going to be some quite clear ones. Put them on a decent speaker. Anyway, I babbled enough. Let's crack on. Um, as you know, guys, anyone wants to come with me is quite welcome to do so. Anything that's bad that decides to come with me, you won't like it in my place, trust me. Right, let's go in there. Right, let's go back to the car. Um, I'm feeling a lot of spirits around me at the moment. Quite a lot of females, I think. Let's go back to the car, let's check it out. And uh, yeah, it's been a hell of a night, guys. Um, I think Haunted the Journey is the right title for this. What I am going to do before that battery goes... I'm gonna have a chat with Becky 
and check these recordings when I get back, whatever time that's going to be. Right, little test here. Elizabeth, if you're here with me from the cemetery, can you just say, Elizabeth, it's Elizabeth, please. I wish this car's gone by. <coughs> Can't hear that. I heard that. Elizabeth. Okay. It could be clearer, admittedly, but I think you'll agree that sounds very much to me like Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth. Brilliant. Oh, I can feel you now as well. So, I take it you're quite happy to come back with me. Is that correct? Okay guys, um, how many have I got here with me now from the cemetery that wish to come back and resolve with me at my place? Can I have a specific number? Very clear there's 11. Okay, that's great, that's not a problem my friends. Uh, and out of the 11, can you tell me how many ladies are there, including Elizabeth? Or is it just Elizabeth? Eleven. What, you're all ladies? Are you all ladies? Sorry, I didn't get that. I'll ask that again. How many of you from the cemetery that are coming to reside with me are female or ladies? Eleven. That's three times that static sounded exactly the same funny enough, isn't it? And said 11. A very clear 11. Okay, I think on that note, um, we've established we have... I did invite them along, obviously. Elizabeth obviously has friends who's decided to come as well. <laughs> I'm sure the sceptics with a K will love that especially after the Jeremy Kyle comment this week in the press. I did find that quite humorous myself, to be honest. That's better. Okay, so, I'm gonna get back now. Let's get a cup of tea. Very interesting there. Um, lady there saying her name was Elizabeth. That's exactly the same name that I was picking up 
when I was sitting on the bench. And also the fact I, I felt, I'd, I did mention at some time while I was down there, a lot of ladies around me, and it would appear now, uh, if these records have been interpreted correct, correctly, which I think they're little doubt, the number given was 11. So I'm looking forward to going home as well and uh, getting to know these 11 ladies and anybody else who's come with me. So this is the haunting. This is the old reason. I'm going to see you at another location very, very soon. Me and the team are out tomorrow night at a German prisoner war camp. So that's one that I think we're all looking forward to. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.